Asi. Shh, they'll hear you. Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. It took you so long. Thanks, Cassie. What's up with these strange bee things? I've lost control of the bees. They're keeping me like a prisoner here. I'm going to help get you out of here, Cassie. Shh. Thanks. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain. Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible if you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. Can you help me find these books? I'm her thou! But at least I can deal with this so my boss doesn't have to. Hey, you're not a child. No. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Seriously? Nope. The neighbor is making it impossible. 
does 20 damage. What? Say nice things and no. happy birth, but enablers just make things worse. Hey, have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. What's the axe for? Bookworms. They eat my family. Wait a second. I don't remember being in this book. You gotta watch out. There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you. Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me. Who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you save for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves. Sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on a vision of the archetype you need most right now. Is it a... A wise mentor. <laughs> oh, well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. Your archetype can act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. I got oh, it. look at him go! So I cute. think if I use projection on this door, That's my archetype spirit. would go in there. What a good boy! See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end. Good dog. And then I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. Hey, I know you. Aren't you from... Yes, yes, always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though, sorry. Wow, conceited. Please excuse me, I have a lot of thinking to do. Why so glum, Dino-chum? 
Well, I'm from an old textbook, and it turns out I'm not considered a real dinosaur anymore. Please don't tell the librarian. She'll throw my whole book out. Sup, clone? Aw, that's cute. My clone thinks he's real. My dogs are barking. Easy squeezy! These things are murder on my back. Don't you just love books? Excuse me. Yes? How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. Don't you just love books? Yeah. Hey, maybe you should treat books? What is that, some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. Strike me down, and I'll only mm. multiply. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit. I'm so glad you're here, you limbo, limbo. Hey, what's that over there? Is that a penny over there? with their stupid well-crafted vines. I can't do anything until I get rid of that enabler. What? No effect. Protected by that enabler. That enables protection. No. no more vines. No. 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 There's some emotional baggage here. Too? Not a good time. Hey, can I borrow that sword? Yes, please take it. 
Nay, for tis my duty most holy to embed its steel into this deadly beast. See? What normal person talks that way? Is there a way we could maybe de-escalate this situation? This guy and his horse are just straight up jerks. <laughs> I agree, Silverwind. Dragons are a plague on our land. Will you two be okay? Hey, yes, whose help side me are you slay on? The monster. Hey, you two. Not a good time. Mr. Knight? That's Sir Knight to you. Sir Knight? Maybe you should just leave that dragon alone? Have you allied yourself with the devil's winged serpent? Hey, kid. Don't worry about it. I already called the cops. I'm just keeping this weirdo occupied until they get here. Summon whatever reinforcements you wish. We'll need them to haul your stinking carcass away. <laughs> okay, buddy. Maybe we should focus on what you two have in common. Like, do you guys like pizza? Oh, yeah. Me? Me too. Well, that's amazing. I had no idea dragons liked pizza. Great. What are your favorite flavors? Pepperoni. Well, I usually get half and half. On one side, I like pineapple and ham, and on the other side, I like maidens and cheese. Oh, my God. Pineapple and ham is an abomination. I knew you were a fell beast. Will you two be okay if I leave? Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. Everybody is now.
it. He helped. Seeing you two work together so well really inspired me. And it gave me an idea. We need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together, round up all the runaway books, and give them to the librarian. But she'll lock you all up. Oh, don't worry. We won't be in them. We'll be with you. Now, go find the others. Hurry! Ah, the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but we can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted. Can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle with Malignant must have brought this librarian to power to make Cassie feel safe. I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. There's some emotional baggage here. Oh. 
please. Pirates don't really talk that way. Oh, sorry, I... They talk like this. Arr! <laughs> from my nose. Ms. Witch, but can I borrow your magic wand? Sorry, Sonny. I'm just roasting a marshmallow here. <laughs> Eat crotchet, Sonny, or I'll poke out your eyeball and roast it. <laughs> well, this one looks easy. Uh-oh. I think I just jinxed it. in here. But be careful. This is the shop of Fanny Flats, the famous counterfeiter. Cassie works for a counterfeiter? I work for myself, but I do what I need to survive. After our parents dumped us here, we needed an archetype that was a little more thick-skinned. Cassie, we've come to bust you out. Did someone say bust? What was that? Huh? Shh! Never say bust in here too loudly. But it's true. We have a plan. Oh, hey, Teach. Listen, now's not a really good time. Flats has a big deal coming up, and she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Can we help? Listen, don't tell anyone, but the cops are closing in on this place. The boss's days are numbered. I cut an immunity deal for myself. I just need to get them some evidence they can use against the big gal. But she's watching everybody like a hawk these days. And I can't get away. We'll do it. I'll get the evidence you need and we'll... B we'll briskly walk out of here together. Okay? Deal. But remember, never double-cross a double-crosser. Okay, I need three pieces of evidence. Better split up. Wait, who am I talking to?
Listen, officer. Hey, kid. Are you investigating Fanny Flats? Sorry, kid. Can't, you know, comment on an ongoing investigation and whatnot. Any idea where I can find some evidence of Fanny Flats' crimes? Corruption runs deep in this town, kid. You can find evidence of it everywhere. Especially in the fish cannery, the print shop, and the market. I'll let you get back to work. Stay out of trouble, kid. Wow. This carving is beautiful. Why, thank you. We would have done more, but we got full. Enabler.
like those guys just went out of print. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, collecting evidence. I've got to stop saying that so loudly. incriminating. That's the best evidence I'll find in this part of town. I should check out the other neighborhoods for more. Find some evidence, quick. Slow. Wins the race? Wins the... Race? Evidence. <sighs>
can't do anything until I get rid of that enabler. market is clean. For a fish market, I mean. But just dirty enough to have some juicy evidence, I'll bet. Hot air freshener? I've got your catfish. Hot, they haven't named yet. Stinky fish! Hot poetry, hot music, fish that's past its prime. Catfish will make you smarter. Put catfish in shoes with your flat feet. Poetry, hot music, past its prime. My fish is sublime. I don't need carp. Carp is garbage fish. Looks like evidence of something. One more piece of evidence to find. Yeah. 
I smell some ripe evidence nearby. Better investigate. Sure, sure. Looks fishy. Better take it as evidence. I think that's all. I got all the evidence I need. Better bring it. I'll take it. all the evidence we could get. Think it's enough? Let me be the judge of that. Oh, yeah. This is some hot dirt right here. We'll be able to blackmail her with this for years. Blackmail? I thought you were going to arrest her. What? How is she going to make the money she needs to pay us from jail? But if she's not locked up and she finds out I was the one who sent her up the river... Hey, don't worry. We'll, uh, protect you or something. Let's beat it. This was a bust. What? Bust? No! It's a bust! Ah! Ah! Ew. Not a chapter of which I am particularly proud. Hey, she was forced into the outlaw life. Not that part. I just meant... Nobody likes a snitch. There you are, all safe and sound again. Thank you, young man. You were a little loud for my liking, but you got the job done. And now you'll help me with those bees? Oh, are you scared of bees? Well, I know of one place where you'll feel completely safe. Hey! Let me down! Crossing. This was all part of the plan. It was? Yep. And I thought I was the tricky one. Oh my, we've come to a bad place. No, it's perfect. How is it perfect? Any place is perfect. When we're all together. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. We should never have let her split us up. When we're together, nothing is impossible. Well, that tears it. I hate to damage a book, of course. But that last line was too corny, even for a motivational speaker. We're not going to let you control us anymore. Oh, and which one of you thinks you should be in charge? None of you could stop Maligula. None of you could protect your friends. I am the real Cassiopeia! And I'll show you how we fight off a foreign invader! Get 
ready for the shushing of your life. I can write a better ending to this story. What's going on? Who's in here? Hello, Cassie. You? The self-righteous little writer? What are you doing in here? We writers are most effective when we get inside someone's head. department. Right. Oh, there you are. Yeah. You should. 
believe I failed again I guess I guess I'm not the real Cassie yes you are and so am I 
Me too. Mostly when we need money. Hey, I'm pretty good in a fight. You might have noticed. Hi. Uh, are you the real Cassie? Hmm, not sure. But I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Now then, did you say something about my bees? Oh my, they really aren't behaving, are they? That's it. I'm all out of bee puns, I promise. Think you can do something about them? I'll try, but I feel like I've lost a little control of them. Oh, how I wish my old partner were here. I think they just need a nap. Oh, bully! How did you know I needed you? A little bird told me. Oh, sorry, I should say three little bees. Then, think we can get this swarm to stand down? I do. Bedtime for bees. So, how's production? Eh, jars of honey and no one to give it to. Come on. Okay, scary part's done. Now we just have to get rid of those vines somehow. The bees are gone, but those vines are still too tough to get through. 